I've worked with some warehouse robotics companies as well. Uh, and they actually implement uh, software which are taught in the Eantra uh, themes. So it's not, it gives a good industrial standpoint, industrial look at robotics as well. I'm trying to, uh, you know, like, uh, try to go, go building uh, some swirling pendulum or some other control systems and then i'm trying to uh, make these control systems interface them with reinforcement learning so copelia sim has provided me a dynamic simulation environment which i can now control with and that, that this has uh, helping me in my future projects as well work on eandra consistently we kind of saw to this last year like we to pile up all the work in the end and in the last couple of days we uh, we used to have nights and work on it but then that did, didn't give us results as compared to this year where we worked on it consistently like every day of the week each team to go first thoroughly through the reading material which Yantra team has provided and then try to watch some youtube videos on these concepts because uh, some of these concepts have been uh, controlled in clearly in depth by various people on YouTube, for example, the control systems. So there are some excellent lectures on control systems by Steve Brunton and who explain these concepts in much more detail if they are not able to understand through this theory. And he also explains how we can test these concepts in simulation in MATLAB environment. There are a lot of good NPTEL courses on control systems taught by Professor uh, Ram Krishna Pasumarthi from IIT Madras. And there is a good course on process control, design analysis and assessment, which is currently being taught by Prof Professor Raghunathan Rengaswamy. These are two good NPTEL courses from which students can learn a bunch in detail about classical control. On YouTube, I would also like to recommend uh, MATLAB Tech Talks, which is uh, a good YouTube series in which he covers not just classical control, but different types of control techniques, such as nonlinear control or state space control systems. So it is a great depth for someone who has an avid interest in control systems. There is a like a long a series lectures of around 60, 65 videos, a playlist on YouTube by a professor from University of Valencia in, I guess, in Spain. And that covers the Copelia Sim simulator in great detail. So sometimes like there are some minor details in those checkboxes, which we don't like read, read and right away understand. And uh, sometimes like, people who don't want a great in-depth explanation the professor like quite in a few words highlights the key point of what those check boxes checking them actually means and what they will do in the simulation and he also gives the that in terms of a visual display as he's always sharing a screen when using the copelia sim simulator always remember to save your work uh, never keep uh, all of the work in one laptop make sure you upload it on like something like github or even google drive Never keep it on your on one person's laptop. Make sure everyone has access to it. Jackie Chan, who play who plays the role of the karate, teacher of Karate Kid. So Eantra is like the in that movie there is a very critical dialogue in which uh, the the Karate Kid Jaden Smith he asks he says that he already has focus and he can easily start to learn the karate techniques. But at that moment, Jackie Chan easily points out to him that and says that his focus needs more focus. So last year in Iyantra, we we thought that we we have in like participated our college robotics team, and so like whatever we had learned would be it would be an easier transition to us. But as we didn't make a significant impact in last year, uh, it Iyantra taught us that our focus needed more focus, and that was a, a hand of a motivation for us. Iyantra helped us to bring that thing out of us and made us better learners in the terms of robotics.